There is this thing called the do not call list. Here's a case of technology has outpaced our ability to write laws. The process of writing laws is so archaic and antiquated that we cannot do it at the speed that technology changes. For example, this one. The do not call registry is still on the books. I don't know one agent in the last five years that actually makes phone calls now. Now what do you do? Text them or email them or direct message or tweet them. We don't call our clients to solicit anymore. We now use drip ca email campaigns. We now use social media communities. So this law that's still on the books, nobody even violates it because it's outdated. So the do not call registry says it is illegal to call a person's residential phone. I'm betting Ross, Lashana, well, I'll bet all of you don't have a landline. Anybody got a landline? Raise your hand. <laughs> the one guy that I said didn't have it, Ross, it's probably because you live at your mom's house still, mom and dad's. That's right. Should have thought of that. I have not had a landline in 10 years. So this law only applies to home-based residential landlines. This is not a do not call email or do not call cell phone list. It is not a do not email list. It is not a do not fax list. And it's also not a do not call commercial business list. This law only exists for residential properties. And you, they, it was to keep people from being harassed all the time, which you saw how that works, right? Because we still get all these robo calls anyway. Well, first of all, here's a couple rules. One is there are four people that are exempt from this rule. And you will need to know these four people. The first one that exempted, guess who? The government. Ooh, the government made a law and then exempted themselves from the damn law. The government is exempt from the do not call list. Phone um, surveys like the census, nonprofit organizations like churches, And here's the fourth one that this is the reason you wanted it. Bill collectors, collection agencies. So those are the four people that are exempt by the do not call list. <clears throat> Government, bill collectors, nonprofit, and surveys. The do not call list is controlled by the FTC, the Federal Trade Commission. As an agent, you are supposed to check it every month, at least every 31 days, to make sure that the number you're about to call is not on it. We used to do what we called dialing for dollars. You guys won't do this. This is literally where you pick up the phone and call the expired listing and go, hey, I want to talk to you. Now we send an email or a text or a Facebook or a letter or postcard or smoke signals or carrier pigeon. This is only for calling. Now, if they call you, you have three months that you can return calls to them. So if someone calls and says, hey, Sarah, I saw your sign. Is that house a four bedroom? Because we're looking for a four bedroom. And Sarah says, no, it's only three. And they're like, okay, thank you, bye. Tomorrow, Sarah lists a four bedroom. She goes back to her phone. Hey, you called about a four bedroom. And they go, we're on the do not call list. Doesn't matter. You called me first. You started this. I have three months to call you 
because you sought out information from me. So until you specifically say, quit calling me, I can call you 30, for three months, even though you're on the do not call list. And now that I know you're unhappy, I will call you every day just to piss you off. No, until they tell you, stop, all right? Or if they are a past client of yours, you have 18 months to call them. If they have closed a house with you, you can call them for a year and a half, even if they're on the do not call list. All righty then. Now, there's some other stuff on the bottom of page 130 that I have, people have talked about. You know, there's like the anti-child porn laws. There's rules about capturing a data on a user. They got to be over the age of 13. That's why Facebook, you got to be 13 to get on. The Can Spam Act, you have to be able to unsubscribe now to any emails that you get or they're in violation of these acts. So I would read that 130, bottom of page 130, the Children's Online Privacy Act. That's one that they I've heard at, they ask questions about. For children younger than 13, they cannot be on the internet. I remember when my daughter, we actually lied about her birthday so she could get a Facebook page when she was like 12. Times were different then. All righty then. Hey, can you see it? Questions? What do you think? 